has found a new role in the United Democratic Alliance. We welcome all Kenyans who desire a greater future to join us in the United Democratic Alliance. In 2017, Jubilee was elected on an, by an overwhelming majority on the platform of the Big Four agenda that was anchored on the success of the party's first term. Subsequently, a merger of the governing party and the opposition coalition was occasioned by the hardship that was presented ostensibly as a framework for peace and economic growth. Kenyans initially welcomed this development and hoped that the promise of a peaceful environment would facilitate the implementation of the Big Four agenda and enable the Jubilee administration to continue with its development plan. That was never to be. I will now call Sultan to continue with the statement. Sadly, this framework degenerated into an unnecessary, arbitrary, selfish, an unconstitutional attempt at changing the constitution that occasioned unlawful and unbudgeted expenditure of billions of shillings of public resources that are to date unaccounted for and are a subject of the Auditor General's inquiry. Little wonder, a recent survey has shown that 72% of Kenyans believe that the country is headed in the wrong direction. For, good, for, for four good years, the country has been engaged in the BBI process, characterized by, characterized by hubris, chest thumping, blackmail, intimidation, and bribery. In this process, party parliamentary committee leadership and members who are perceived to be disagreeable to this scheme became victims of a vicious purge and expulsion. Besides, the criminal justice system, Kenya Revenue Authority, and other state agencies were mobilized and weaponized to intimidate, blackmail, victimize, and persecute leaders, business people, and ordinary Kenyans perceived to be opposed to this unconstitutional order, BBI, and its anti-people recommendations. This provided a leeway for the attempted vandalism of the constitution of our country. Fortunately, the judiciary made a very profound decision. Regrettably, the NASA coalition, its principles, and the, their jubilee collaborators took the government hostage, hijacked its agenda, and one, completely destroyed the governing jubilee party and dismembered the entire opposition coalition. Two, emasculated parliament, undermined the rule of law, threatened the independence of the judiciary, and emboldened impunity. Three, sabotaged job creation, universal health coverage, food security and manufacturing, thus cutting the entire Big Four plan. Four, criminalized hustler enterprises in places like Nyamakema, Gikomba, Kamukunji, Kirinyaga Road, and River Road, amongst others. Five, presided over the brutal or inhuman evictions and demolitions of the vulnerable and destruction of pre private property in places like Karibangi, Rai, amongst other, many other places across the country. Six, mismanage the economy, leading to stockpiling of public debt to unprecedented levels occasioned, that has occasioned the current economic crisis that our country is facing. I wish to call upon Honorable Benjamin Tayari. Thank you. Thank you.
our approach towards a bottom-up economic and governance model. To address this sad and grim state of affairs facing our country, the Hasla Nation, forged by the people in the diversity from all parts of the country, here represented by leaders from across the political divide, believe in a new economic and political paradigm that prioritizes one, bottom-up over trickle-down economics. Two, the people over their leaders. Three, empowerment over power sharing. Four, jobs over positions. Five, enterprise over patronage. Six, economic transformation of opportunistic constitutional amendment. Yes, yes. I hereby uh, call Honorable Mabonga to continue. Focused on this new paradigm and through a bottom up economic, economic and governance model, it's possible to enable the over 15, K, 15 million Kenyans at the bottom of the pyramid to be active and meaningful participants in the economy through deliberate, one, public to private labor intensive investment framework to create jobs. Two, financing instruments and mechanisms to spur, promote, and empower hustler enterprises such as Mamamboka, Hawkers, Bora Boras, artisans, artists, among others. And then three, facilitation and enhancement of productivity of farmers, pastoralists, fisher folk, and other actors within agriculture value chain. Number four, implementation of manufacturing and industrial program that prioritizes cottage industries as a multiplier of national productivity. In the meantime, we will continue sponsoring and supporting people-centered legislation and policies that entrench the objectives of bottom-up economic and governance model, and we will also sensitize the public to remove what is in the heads of the majority. May I take this opportunity to invite the leader of majority, Hon Adam Dwale, the man of all systems. Thank you. It is a considered view that to open up the economy, and this is on COVID-19 pandemic, as the PG, we have deliberated the matter, and we are saying it is a considered view that to open up the economy and to facilitate economic activity among our people, especially for the millions of hustlers, it is imperative on the part of government to proactively and decisively deal with the COVID-19 pandemic. Currently, our country uh, in the world is focused on the speedy mass vaccination of its population. We expect the Ministry of Health to, without any further delay, to roll out the vaccination of Kenyans with immediate effect as earlier communicated by government and more so by His Excellency the President. Through mass vaccination, we can save lives and progressively reopen our community, our, our economy, the way it has been done in many other countries. That is the end of our statement from the parliamentary group we had 135 members of parliament from both houses. 15 have sent their apologies. We have two of our governors, the governor for Turkana, Governor Namek, and the governor for Nandi, His Excellency Governor San. And I think uh, you have heard uh, what the PG has discussed any other question you want to ask, if it is not part of our statement, that means it was not an agenda and we will not discuss it. But I think as the Deputy President has said, 
Mine is to send a message to our competitors, because the election is about one year to come. They believe in constitutional reforms and constitutional change. We believe the prior priority is the economy, and more so the bottom-up economic model. They believe in ganging up and forming tribal chieftain. We believe in a unified, unitary state, politics based on and space created for all Kenyans. They believe in sharing of positions, and that's why you see each one of them. They have no agenda, they have no manifesto, they have no economic model. Some are saying, my business is to deny William Ruto the presidency. That is the agenda of one of the leaders. Another one is so busy with trying to revive NASA and Orca Kenya. So we're saying our manifesto, our agenda is very clear. And we want them also to put in place why the bottom-up model is not good for Kenya, but the trickle-down model that we have lived with since independence is better than what we have. So that should be a discussion. That should be the narrative. So we want the people of Kenya to choose between us and them based on very informed social, economic, political models. That's it, I think. If you have one or two questions then before we leave. Yes, from KTN. And should be something on this statement. Thank you, and uh, very good afternoon. Chris Taylor from uh, KTN. Uh, two questions. Uh, one, uh, from your statement, it seem to be uh, people who are not happy with the Jubilee Party that uh, most of you uh, members of parliament have voted in. And uh, to an extent of uh, the juniors uh, going ahead, even frustrating the second person in command in the country, then what we would ask, why not uh, call it a day and uh, uh, you all resign? And uh, I can see you have a formidable team yeah, and uh, uh, go to the ground let and me uh, help you. Let me help you for, for, for votes. Let me help the, you. The second question. The, the second question. Uh, I would like to, to, to know uh, the issue to do with PEP, the People's Empowerment Party. There have been uh, reports that uh, there have been some wrangles between PEP and UDA, especially in the Mount Kenya region. Uh, and that's the reason why um, uh, the Gatundu South Member of Parliament, uh, Moses Kuri, is not around. Maybe you can confirm that. I think the first Thank one, you. let me tell you, the members sitting behind me are members of United Democratic Alliance. We are in, in Jubilee normally, but the current and the future party of ours is UDA. So any other party we will not discuss. And I think, too, we will not discuss about the person and the institution of the deputy president. That was not part of our discussion as a people. Any other question? My friend from MTV. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, you, just before you ask, on PEP, the only member on PEP who is a hustler from the Hassan Nation is here and is part of our PG. And is here. Please. Thank you so much, uh, Seth Olale, NTV. Uh, just to ask if UDA is working with its affiliate TSP, Chama Chakazi. And uh, also, you've said, uh, leader of majority, you've said uh, that, okay. you know, you're either with us or not with us, but are you open as UDA? now that you're going into a general election and we have a tradition of, you know, transfer of members of parliament and even politicians to other coalitions, are you open to work with other coalitions such as Okan? the rest? Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Olale. As has been communicated to you, that was not part of uh, the discussion today. So, uh, at an appropriate moment, 
when that becomes a subject of discussion in our PG, we will ably respond to what you have said. So please hold your horses. <laughs> Any other question? Yes. Uh, my question is uh, about uh, bottom up. Can you be able to might be to emphasize? We know the the numbers of the youth in this country they have no job. Can you be able to emphasize how are you going to be improve that economically? Yeah, good question. Good question there. If uh, amongst the 15 million people at the bottom of the pyramid is about 4 million jobless Kenyans. It is our considered position that through policy change in investments, by investing not in capital intensive infrastructural programs, rather investing in labor intensive infrastructural programs, for example, housing, cottage industry, agro-processing, value addition, informal uh, manufacturing, we can create millions of jobs. I know the question many people ask, where are you going to find the money? Let me tell you, we didn't have to look for additional money for us to do the 10,000 kilometers of roads we have done. We changed the model of building roads. We didn't have to get more money to connect more people to electricity. And we have connected now going to 8 million. We didn't have to get new money. We changed the model of connection. And that is why we are saying to fix this economy using the same resources we have by changing the model, we can create more jobs, we can create more enterprise, and we can get farmers and pastoralists supported to produce more. That is the bottom-up economic model. Yes, madam. Jina langu ni Elizabeth Mutuku kutoka TV47. Kuna swala la safari yako ambayo ilikuwa ifanyike kule Uganda. <laughs> Ningependa kusikia ni kipi kilitendeka manake ukiangalia taifa la Uganda linasema halikuwa limeharifiwa kuhusiana na hilo. Swala la pili iwapo jubili serikali ya jubili ilisambaratika ni kwa nini mnaendelea kuwa ndani? Asante sana. Uh, jambo la kwanza mambo yale umeguzia hayakuwa uh, agenda ya mkutano huu na hilo jambo tushalizungumzia imesha iko nyuma yetu sisi tunatizama tukienda mbele kwa swali lako la uh, pili Sisi, si wa alikwa. We are not guests in any place. We join parties by choice. And we, you live by choice. So uh, nobody should be bothered, you know, and nobody should ask anybody why you are still here. This is a democratic country. So people, choices, people make choices at the opportune moment when they think uh, different choices are necessary. Thank you. One last more. Leto and uh, yes, Sema Leto. I'm Haimba from Ebro TV. Okay, Kaimba. Yeah, my concern is about some of the issues being raised through the bottom-up approach. These are some of the issues maybe that can, uh, can actually be implemented through uh, some of your members of parliament if they can actually come up with this, the legislative uh, why is it taking long for some of the hustlers, for, for some of the MPs to actually work out issues affecting the hustlers currently? Uh, because if you understand you, last time you said okay. that uh, some of the issues even being, uh, uh, being proposed in the BBI, your MPs can actually work on them uh, currently. 
I think if you read our statement, you will find the answer to your question. Yes. I'm Stephen Leto from Citizen TV. Uh, Kenyans were yesterday taken aback when you opposed the, the establishment of a four billion shilling security mm -hmm. uh, factory in the country. And one will ask, uh, why would you oppose a security factory that intends to boost security in the country? Or another one would accuse you of trying to run away from either the failure or the achievements of the current regime of the Jubilee Party administration. Uh, since you are not in the in the in the room where I made that statement, I uh, maybe I would recommend that I think it is available on YouTube. My statement of yesterday, uh, Leto. And if you read, if you listen to what I said, it is not what you are saying. I neither oppose nor am I trying to run away from anything. So if you just uh, uh, look at it, it will, it will answer your question. Yes, uh, my good friend. The last one. Yeah, it was Church of Kutoka Switch TV. Na swali langu ni kwa Kenya kwa ida mbae katika uongo zambu meko kihudumu a sola la deni limekuwa tatizo ama changamoto je bottom up approach ita solution vp sola la deni humu nchini good question uh, you had a chance uh, let's, sorry thank you very much uh, swala hilo la deni tumelizungumzia kwa kirefu kwamba njia ya kutatua tatizo kubwa la madeni katika taifa letu la Kenya ni kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunapanua na kuwawezesha wananchi wengi hasa wale hawana kazi wale biashara yao ni ndogo na wale hawazalishi kilimo ya kutosha tukiwawezesha wale hawana kazi wapate kazi wataanza kulipa ushuru wakipata kazi tukiwasaidia wale wa kufanya biashara kuwapa mikopo yenye riba ya chini biashara zao zitapanuka na sitainuka wataanza kulipa ushuru wakulima pia watazalisha chakula ya kutosha wapate ile wanaitwa surplus waweze kuuza ndio tuweze kupata ushuru hawa wa Kenya wote karibu milioni tano tukiwawezesha kujumuika na wengine katika uchumi wa Kenya pia tutakuwa tumewaongeza walipa ushuru karibu milioni kumi na tano kuongezea wale walipa ushuru walioko sasa kumaanisha tutapata ushuru zaidi na tukipata ushuru zaidi ama kodi zaidi tutakuwa na uwezo wa kusimamia mambo yetu ya maendeleo na vile vile kugaramia kulipa madeni yetu na vile vile tutaanza kupunguza na kuondoa baadaye completely kukopa madeni kwa sababu tutakuwa na pesa ambayo sisi wenyewe kwa kuzalisha uchumi wetu kupitia hii bottom up model ambayo itawawezesha wale ambao hawana kazi wapate kazi wale hawana biashara wafanye biashara na wakulima wazalishe zaidi hiyo growth ya economy ndio itatusaidia kuwa na resources ya taxes nyingi na itatuwezesha kuendesha serikali yetu bila ya kwenda kutafuta mikopo kutoka China na sehemu zingine so bottom up holds the key to not only us creating jobs creating enterprise and enabling our farmers it also provides the key to us sorting out the big crisis of debt by making sure we have more Kenyans brought into the tax paying bracket because we have enabled either them to get jobs or their enterprises to grow or their productivity to improve.
<laughs> Good afternoon, Your Excellency. Let me uh, introduce um, our two new members elected by the Hasla Movement Fraternity. We have George Koenbori, our pioneer who is going to happen. And we have the one and only John Jogona Kawanjiko, who is the latest entrant into this Hasla movement. Thank you, gentlemen. Asante Nisana. So, thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for taking out your time. We know you are very busy people and uh, sharing these few moments with us. Karibuni lunch, hapa kwa hasla, na nawatakia kila naheri katika shuguli zenu. Thank you.